My question is this. Mr. Mohammed Tarbande and Mir Yunus Jafari, despite making your intentions clear to resign from the role as representatives of Dr. Noor Ali Tarbande, what caused you to come back and continue to tell everyone that you are his self-appointed representatives? I'd like to ask Mohammed Tarbande why Dr. Noor Ali Tarbande's trusted doctor, Dr. Abbas Zadeh, who knew his medical history in great detail, was replaced with people who knew nothing about his health. Who was responsible for this decision? Mr. Harsini, despite Dr. Tarbande's request for you to speak up and defend the rights of imprisoned dervishes, why did you side with the regime in falsely accusing Mr. Salas, which ultimately led to his unjust execution? On the night of Golestan Haftan, Dr. Nurali Tarbande met with the officials of the regime and both sides reached a peaceful agreement. Dr. Tarbande then went to sleep. Please tell us what happened next, leading to the security forces violently attacking the dervishes. Mr. Mohammed Tarbande, there is much evidence that you tried to forcefully obtain permission from Dr. Nur Ali Tarbande to lead prayers for the dervishes. Why did you do this, especially as your request was continually declined? Mr. Karshani, you read a statement reportedly on behalf of Dr. Tarbande, suggesting the removal of permission from Sheikh Marufi. But Dr. Tarbande clearly stated that he had never dismissed any of the sheikhs why were you so adamant to have Mr. Marufi removed as a sheikh? My question is for Dr. Mosavar Ali. You have a private clinic specializing in cosmetic surgery. Why were you selected as the head of Dr. Noor Ali Tarbande's medical team in place of an actual doctor with knowledge of his medical history? And who was responsible for this decision? Mr. Mohammad Tarbande. There is evidence of you saying that the Ministry of Intelligence, also known as Etelaat, has been, quote, treating us well. Could you explain your comments about Iran's Ministry of Intelligence, given their history of oppressing Gonabadi dervishes? Mr. Karshani, please explain how whilst Dr. Tarbande's speeches were being censored and his microphones taken away, you traveled to various locations in Iran and spoke on behalf of Dr. Tarbande with the best sound equipment available. Who gave you this permission? Mr. Jafari, in a meeting on the 22nd of June, 2018, Dr. Tarbande clearly stated that all dervishes are my representatives. You brought a piece of paper to his attention numerous times, urging that your lives were at risk and he must mention you as representatives by name. Why was your life at risk? And why did you force Dr. Tarbande to mention you by name? Mohammad Tarbande, please explain why Dr. Noor Ali Tarbande's speeches were censored, such as the widely known 40-minute speech of Dr. Tarbande, which was edited down to just four minutes. Mr. Karshani, when Dr. Tarbande corrected you after lying and speaking on his behalf about the presidential election, you were ordered to take back your remarks, to which you replied that they were not made by you. Then, Dr. Tarbande ordered that you no longer speak publicly at Sufi gatherings. So from whom did you receive permission from to continue your talks around the country? Mr. Karshani, do you still attend the lectures of your teacher, Ayatollah Alavi? Are you still a student of his? Do you agree with his points of view? And this question goes to all four of you. If you claim to be innocent, why don't you answer the questions being raised? What are you afraid of? Shouldn't you accept the responsibility that comes with having claimed to be the representatives of Dr. Tarbande? <laughs>